Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, another video today. As uh, some of you probably enjoyed, there was Black Friday and Cyber Monday this past uh, weekend. Um, I was able to grab another monitor uh, here. That's 24-inch Scepter monitor. Uh, fairly decent price, $78, down from 112 My old monitor that uh, I was using as my side monitor for SSRS reporting and just kind of scrolling uh, for my main PC. It unfortunately uh, died on me. So I was able to pick this one up for a reasonable price. And unfortunately, when I started to plug it in, um, that's when things started to go wrong. So that's why we're here again. So apparently this is a major issue with these Scepter monitors here. And um, one of the main things that I keep seeing a lot of people run into is problem with the HDMI ports. My VGA actually worked fine for me here and um, had no issues with that. However, my HDMI ports, after plugging in the same HDMIs from my old monitor into my new Scepter, wouldn't work anymore. And again, tried to look into it, see what maybe it was uh, a bad driver. Maybe I just need to reboot my PC. Um, nothing. I tried multiple HDMI cables and still I just could not get this monitor connected. Um, but it was only through the HDMIs. So you can see here on the Scepter, uh, the little docking station um, for the four screw holes here. And it's hidden behind this uh, stand mount. Well, I don't personally use the stand. I have my own uh, dual monitor arms that I use. So I was trying to link this up, but there's this little silver bar in the back that connects this stand. And uh, it's kind of a nuisance. So I had to use the bigger screws to kind of get my mount arm on and I uh, get everything adjusted. And what I had found out was I had screwed it on too tight. Um, that's one thing you're going to have to check is making sure that you didn't screw on your mount too tight because as soon as I took that sucker off, I realized the back panel for the HDMIs are linked to that section and it pushed it in just far enough that I couldn't get a stable connection. As soon as I took that monitor arm uh, bracket station off, it worked perfectly. So, what you'll want to do is you want to make sure you tighten the top two screws here um, a decent amount and leave a little bit of slack on the bottom where that silver bar is and you should be good to go after that. Uh, if you have any other issues with it, um, of course, do your usual troubleshooting. Uh, make sure that your HDMI cable does work. Uh, power off um, the device and the monitor for 20 seconds. Replug everything back in. But uh, yeah, I mean, this that's all it was for me is just, uh, it seems so silly. But yeah, just make sure you're not uh, tightening it too hard on these back of these monitors. So I hope everyone has a great day. I hope everyone has uh, great holidays coming ahead. Uh, had a happy Thanksgiving, and uh, I'll see you next time.